Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well. If you're asking me the question, well, I have mixed feelings for a few reasons. The first one is I will not be able to watch Juventus Real Madrid in lifetime, I will recuperate it a bit later. Why? Because I will be at the airport at that time, ready to take off to go to Greece for some, I believe, deserved holiday together with the family, especially my family deserved to go in holiday. So I'm happy about that, swimming pool, the sun, relax and so on and so on. On the other hand, eh, I will not be able to watch the game and also the Mercato is open because we have to be totally honest at the moment. The team is not complete. We are missing some key pieces and that's what we will speak about in the video about Mercato, a lot about Mercato, but also how Juventus is spending their last minutes, their last days in USA before coming back because in two weeks Juve Sassuolo. Guys, I will continue to upload also video while I will be on holiday. That's something I, will, I was able to name negotiate with my family but I will not be always on time I will not be able to break uh, some news so if you want to be re remain up to date with everything regarding Juve especially in real time because I can guarantee you that while I will be away a lot of things will happen download one football guys it is what it is it is the best app to remain up to date about Juventus Mercato players score also the other teams if you are interested to know what the other team are doing to reinforce them team the link is into the description you can can also go with a QR code and expect one football even more in August, September, October. Beautiful surprises for you. Guys, we start immediately with Tuto Sport. We sing Riecoli. Here they are again. And it's really strange because we are seeing two players. One is part of the actual team, Vlahovic, that didn't play a single minute with Juventus. Riecolo in a singular form why because he will start today or probably he will play versus Real Madrid and then we see an old face a familiar face we are speaking about Miralem Pjanic that played versus Juve a few days ago when he was there facing Juve with Barcelona we'll come back on these two names why is Juventus a bit slower after accelerating for Pogba Di Maria and Bremer well it's because of Paul Pogba because of that sudden injury that is blocking everything Juventus wants to know how long it will Will take to see Paul Pogba back on Juventus the decision will be made next week I will already be there in Greece but then Juventus will take a decision what do we do we go with a big investment for the midfield we go for a temporary investment do we trust the midfield that we have already with the youngsters like Rovella Fagioli maybe the return of Miretti let's see but that is why we are blocking that means that from the moment that we know we will accelerate all the names that you are seeing at the moment around Juventus that we will speak about after you putting a maximum of like. Hey guys, let's, for the last video in Belgium, put a maximum of like. After subscribing to the channel, we speak about all these names. Guys, we start with the lineups. The lineups from Juve Real Madrid according to Tuto Sport 433. And they are again putting Sule as a box to box on the left side. Guys, they already tried it last week. It didn't work out. We didn't see Sule in that position. I believe we will not see Sule in that position. But they are going with a 433 again with Cuadrado on the left side. Which, according to me, is not a really great test. Why could that be true, Cuadrado on the left? Because Moiskin and also Rabio, but especially Moiskin, will not be able to play versus Sassuolo as he is suspended and we need a solution there if nobody else is arriving what I believe that can be tested also tonight is also a 4-3-3 with Locatelli as a regista again and maybe Fagioli as a box-to-box -box because he played a lot of time on that part of the field when he was with Cremonese with again trust to Keane in his original position as a left winger offensive winger with Vlaovic from the first minute with a Zakaria a box-to-box -box because he was impressing everyone in that USA Tour but the one that we are all expecting the most is Dusan Dudu Vlahovic that is there and that is actually running against time to put aside all his small physical problems because we will count on him for a big sprint in Serie A we can't commit the mistake that we did last year actually missing a lot of points in the four first games of Serie A and that's why we were not able to count on Vlaovic last year we bought him in January but now we have him and we are counting on immediately on him from the first day what about Riecoli again the first page of Tuto Sport where he they were putting Pjanic on the first page well he's there and why is he there because we are negotiating 
negotiating for Paredes and it takes a lot of time. Paris Saint-Germain doesn't want to lower their request. We are really doubtful. We are not 100% sure. Apparently Allegri was not confident about Paredes to Juventus. So they had a talk. But, uh, Miralem Pjanic and Allegri when they were in USA, when they were playing against each other, we know that uh, uh, Miralem Pjanic has always been a favorite of Allegri. Can he come back? What are the possibilities to see Miralem back at Juventus? Well, Barcelona, after the mega transfer session that they are doing, they also need to sell. They are not sure about De Jong. They are thinking about uh, Pjanic that is finding a really great feeling with Xavi, but maybe he will be too much in the team that is counting so many players at the moment. Having Pjanic back 32 years old, so he's not 37, he's 32, could be a solution for Allegri for temporary pay attention to the situation of Pogba. It can be a temporary solution, a temporary name, yes, on the other hand, I would say, guys, Morata, Pjanic, and all these kind of names at a certain moment, you have to turn the page. And I'm a big fan of the old Pjanic, eh? but... I don't really see it as a really great solution. Uh, Juventus is joining the race to sign Veretu as a Pogba's replacement. Guys, also there. Not sure if that's a really great solution. And I told you, we will see a lot of names linked to Juve because it will depend also on Pogba situation. Veretu, yes or no, if you have to choose Veretu or Pjanic uh, or Paredes, the three names. Put it on the comment. I'm curious what your opinion is. If you are speaking about the striker situation, a lot of names has been linked to Juve. The same as the midfielders, a lot of names. We have Memphis Depay, the one that is really advancing more and more. Memphis Depay to Juve from Barcelona could be the easiest target for Juventus. He has one more year of Barcelona, so it means that he will have to extend to before going to Juventus on loan for one season, maybe with a, an option to buy for 20 million. Not a really a lot of money for Memphis Depay, but the salary is quite high as well. For the player from the Netherlands, another name that is linked to Juventus, like Luto Sport was uh, reporting, is Mertens, that uh, officially said goodbye to Napoli, free agent at the moment. Next name is the one of Martial and also there, guys, uh, a lot of injuries, didn't perform at Sevilla when he was on loan. Also him, 30 million gross salary at Manchester United. He's depending on the situation of Cristiano Ronaldo. A lot of names, I have to tell you that at the moment, none of them is convincing me. What are convincing me instead are the words of Danilo. Danilo that said, guys, we have to change mentality. We also have to find back the arrogance that is typical of Juve, that probably we lost in the last few years. We have to find back that arrogance, that people are scaring us, that are fearing us, that when we are in the tunnel, they know that we are Juventus and probably we have to be again arrogant and these are beautiful words from Danilo that I really appreciated and that's also maybe why we saw Giorgio Chiellini and Captain Del Piero yesterday in the training session of Juventus they were there interviewed by Enrico Zambruno on the Twitch channel of Juve it was really beautiful. Beautiful to see a really great captain that yesterday spoke about a lot of players, saying that he was seeing in Chiesa and Vlaovic future great and present and future great talents of Juventus that uh, understand what it is to suffer for the Bianconeri shirt. Beautiful words for Del Piero that was, of course, speaking a lot uh, well about Di Maria, saying that he has the class, he has a lot of personality. He said that it was a really beautiful addition for that Juventus team. And then we saw also some behind behind the scenes of yesterday in training session, free kick challenge between Di Maria and Del Piero. Look at Di Maria smiling before or after that free kick challenge, I don't know. Which was the winning team of yesterday after training session? We saw Vlahovic there, we saw a Matthias Sule, we saw of course a Di Maria that is always there in the winning team. And then it's not over because Juventus did a really great job with all their social network while they were in USA, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch everywhere they were present giving actually Juventini so much joy so much content yesterday they were there at the official first game
game at home of Giorgio Chiellini Los Angeles. They were all there cheering for him. They were also playing basketball. We see a new bromance between Moiskin and Chesney. They were playing basketball together. And yesterday, the Lumineers that were also showing to McKenney how to play piano, the Lumineers is a really great Juventino beautiful images what are the other papers saying about our beloved Juventus I have to admit nothing they are speaking Corriere dello Sport about the Raspadori that is said yes to Napoli not yet a done deal they are speaking about Roma that will face Tottenham they are speaking about Belotti that could join Mourinho to Roma that is actually building a really great top team but nothing about Juve Gazzetta dello Sport maybe eh no they are speaking about the untouchables Lukaku and Lautaro Martinez they are speaking about again Roma about everyone and just a few letters a few words about uh, Vlaovic that uh, is ready to play versus Real Madrid that was it for the video shorter one than usual I had to speak fast try to work on another video maybe already preparing for tomorrow about calcio G just calcio with foot Italia I hope you enjoy it a lot of news I told you let me know which one made you the most uh, happy about let me know which midfielder you are choosing between Paredes between Veretout and Pjanic which striker Depay Memphis Alvaro Morata so many names we don't know at the moment we'll have to wait next week will be a big one grazie forza Juve